Hello! I was tagged by Super Sushi Pizza to do the Ugly Covers tag, which was originally created by Nerd in Translation, and they are both super awesome booktubers, so if you want to check them out, link is right here. I'm going to combine the first two parts of this tag. One is, choose the top five most hideous book covers in your collection, and two, what convinced you to buy them. These aren't in any order, they are just my top five uglies, and first is... Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. I enjoyed this book. It's a fun, quick Christmas read, and it puts me in a good mood. Um, but this cover just isn't that interesting to me. It looks like a generic Christmas picture, and they just decided to slap on the title right on the ribbon over there. It just doesn't look very interesting, and clearly this is one of those books that markets the authors, because look at how big their names are compared to the actual title of the book. And that is actually why I bought this book, because it's a John Green book, and John Green is one of those authors who, if he writes a book, I will read it. Next is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I have not read this book. I know. I know. I need to read it. Everyone loves this book. I haven't read this book, so I don't know if the dominoes are actually relevant, but it's just not a very compelling image to me. Also, there are three things on this cover that don't need to be there and make it look messy. Also, that font they use for the title is so bad! But yeah, I bought this book because everyone is head over heels in love with it and told me that I need to read it, and there was only one cover to choose from, and it was this one. Personal Velocity by Rebecca Miller. I bought this about a year ago at a library sale for probably a quarter. I haven't read it yet, but the synopsis sounded intriguing. It's supposed to be a collection of stories that showcase the multifaceted lives of modern women. But what the heck is this cover? This, to me, does not say multifaceted lives of modern women. This looks like what would happen if you had a bunch of your girlfriends over for a house party and everyone had way too much wine and you all decided to take pictures of each other. This is what you would get. A blurry mess. The Year of Living Biblically by A.J. Jacobs. I read A.J. Jacobs' other book, The Know-It-All, and I found that entertaining. So four years ago on my 18th birthday, my friend gave me this book as a gift. This is actually on Super Sushi Pizza's list of ugly book covers as well, and I own this book too, and I agree that it is ugly. It's trying to be funny, but it just looks idiotic. And five, Wallflower at the Orgy by Nora Ephron. This is a collection of her magazine articles from the 1960s, 1970s, and it's a good book, or it's a good collection, but what is this cover? I mean, I get it, I get it. She's the wallflower at the orgy, she's like the naked one against the wall, everyone's having fun, and she's just observing. But come on, way to be literal, cover. Part three, name a few good books with ugly covers. I will mention Wanderlust by Elizabeth Eaves. This is a fantastic, fantastic autobiographical travel book, but this cover... I'm okay with the top part, but I think this box makes the cover look like a PowerPoint slide, and also this picture does not represent the contents of the book. This looks like a nice Hawaiian tropical paradise getaway. Um, Elizabeth Eaves does not go to Hawaii at all in this book. She goes to places like Papua New Guinea, China, Cairo, Yemen, Australia, Spain, um, France, a lot of fantastic, wonderful places, but none of them is Hawaii or a tropical paradise, so why is this picture here? Also, my Dover Thrift Editions copy of Wuthering Heights, I think, is not very pretty to look at. But it's a great book, it's one of my favorites, and even though this cover is not very nice, I will never get rid of this copy because it has all my highlighting and notes and my scribbles, and this is the book that I read when I was 14 and 18, and doesn't matter how ugly you are if I love you on the inside. Also, my copies of the Lord of the Rings series, movie tie-in covers, Four. Name a few books that had awful covers and were also bad reads. I don't have a lot for this because I go through my bookshelf regularly and books that I didn't like or didn't contribute anything to my life, I take out and donate because they don't need to be taking up space. So I guess I will just say The Year of Living Biblically because I started reading it and I didn't get very far at all. I just didn't think it was that interesting. It was kind of a little bit boring. Five, what makes a book cover ugly to you? Um, 
typography is really important to me, so if the font is ugly, no. There are just so many beautiful fonts out there. Why would you use an ugly one for the cover of a book? Why? I also tend to not like photographic covers, which is why I usually have a problem with YA book covers, because they're usually pictures of beautiful young people that don't represent the contents of the book. But not all photographic book covers are bad, like that one Penguin Modern Classics edition of The Great Gatsby, so beautiful. Also this cover of Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, how this picture makes me feel is similar to how the actual novel makes me feel. Also movie tie-in covers, I think we all feel pretty much the same way about them. I also like things to be either simple or crazy. If you want to be minimalist, be minimalist. Do it beautifully. But if you want to go crazy, go all out. Do not be like stuck in the middle, you can't figure out where you are. Six, are these books likely to be donated, gifted, sold, or will you still keep them in spite of their unattractive appearance? Like I said, I get rid of books that I didn't enjoy reading or that did not contribute anything to my life that didn't affect me. That's what I get rid of. I don't really care. I mean, I care about covers, but like I said about Wuthering Heights, I love the inside of this book, so I don't care about this as much. So yeah, when we're talking about getting rid of books, I care more about the content of the book than the cover. And seven, award one of your books King of Ugliness in the kingdom that is your book collection. I will have to say Personal Velocity by Rebecca Miller. I just don't understand this cover. Granted, I have not read this book, but either way, I just don't think this is a good cover at all. If I was uploading pictures from my camera and I saw a picture that looked like this, I'd probably delete it. I've talked so badly about this cover and how I feel like I really need to read it to make up for it. That was a fun little tag. If you have books in your collection that you think are kind of ugly and you want to share them with the world, feel free to do this tag yourself. As always, thank you for watching. P.S. I will have the winner of the Penumbra giveaway video up on Wednesday.